In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my most recent haul. So as you probably saw from the thumbnail, I picked up a couple of pretty cool things recently um, and I'm gonna show you guys. So um, first things first, this guy, big, big bag from Box Lunch. Uh, my mall here has a box lunch. Um, I just happened to go into it the other day. So it was about a week or so ago. Um, it was like the second week, second or first week of uh, the redemption window for the box lunch cash or money or I can't remember exactly what they call it. Um, but yeah, just happened to be in the mall, killing some time, went into box lunch, Wait till you see what I found and how much I got it for. So to start off, this was the first one that I saw. Let's see if it focuses there. So it's Walt Disney with drawing and it's a drawing of Steamboat Willie or Mickey. And it's in like a black and white. It's for the Disney. Let's see if we get that. Yep. Disney 100th, 100th anniversary. It's part of the icon line. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily collect the icon line, um, actually at all, really. I don't think I have any others in the icon line specifically, um, but I got it for the Disney 100th anniversary, so pretty cool. Um, it's a common, but, um, uh, I just figured because of the celebration of the 100th, 100th anniversary, and pick this guy up. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I haven't taken it out yet. Um, I probably won't. Most of my pops, basically all of my pops are in box. So I leave them in box and I uh, display them as I can. There's a couple right there. Most of them are in the display case behind and then in a room, another room in the house. So yeah, first pickup, um, $12.90 was retail for this guy. We'll put him there. On to the next. Ah, okay, so the second thing, crazy cool. Huge, hence the big box. This was not on like the sales floor. This was behind the counter. Uh, they only had one. It's pretty cool. The lady behind the counter was like, oh yeah, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. I was a little bit hesitant. Uh, my wife was like, ah, just do it. It's only one, you know? And, may never see it again because honestly who knows i mean people always swipe up anything remotely exclusive or different so ready you ready three two one oh the movie poster luke skywalker with r2d2 Wow. So, movie poster from the first Star Wars. This is actually, um, this poster is actually the first, like, Star Wars poster that I ever had. Um, my parents got it for me for a birthday. Um, so I had, I have this poster framed, um, somewhere. It's not up right now, but yeah. So very first poster that I ever put up on my wall as a kid in the house I grew up in, um, so yeah, kind of cool. A little bit nostalgic in that aspect. Uh, but this thing is massive. And it's... So it's in this hard shell protective case. Um, sorry for the glare. There's my light. My secret's out. I use a ring light. <laughs> um, so yeah, movie posters is the line. This is number two. I believe number one is the Jurassic World or Jurassic Park, probably Jurassic Park. Um, and I wanna say that one's Target or Walmart. I don't know, I won't pretend to know. Um, but yeah, this thing is awesome. So retails, $59.90. Um, like I said, from Box Lunch, only one they had. The cool thing about this one, he's like, I think he's six inch scale. No. Yeah, six inch scale. So a little bit larger than the standard size pop. R2 is the standard size pop. If not, maybe just a smidgen smaller. 
it's pretty cool though. Having having Luke a little bit larger than a normal pop. See if I can hold up Walt here. Balance this against my face because it's so huge. Here's a normal three inch, 3.75, however big they are, pop next to this absolute behemoth. Sorry for the glare, but I'm gonna do it. Absolutely ridiculous how big this thing is in comparison. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna take it out of the actual like cardboard box, just because the box itself is so cool. I mean, you've got Luke and R2 on the side there. Luke, Skywalker with R2-D2, number two. Uh, on the back, it just shows the poster with the two characters again. Um, and then side window on this side. And then, yeah. But it's super, super cool. It's heavy duty. I mean, look at this. That's the side of the case right there held together with like screws. So it's pretty heavy duty. There's the two pops in there, just chilling. They are bobblehead. Luke has a good bobble to him. Um, R2 doesn't really move much at all, but he is a bobblehead. It's hard to see, but he is a bobblehead. So yeah, uh, this, like I said, $59.90. I'm just looking at my receipt here. Walt was $12.90. So I used the um, box lunch money. $15 off of $30 spent. Um, and then I also had five bucks on my box lunch account. So I got a total, uh, well, I got Walt for free. And after tax, I only paid $59. So I got this, what did I say this was? 59, oh jeez, my brain. $59.90. So I got all of this for this guy for free and this guy for 90 cents off, basically. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. Pretty, pretty happy with that. Um, wasn't intending to spend any money on that trip, but you know, that's how it goes. So yeah, super excited about this. I have no clue where it's going to go. It's massive. It's huge. As you can see behind me, there's no space over there. Um, We'll figure something out though. Walt, he's a lot easier to display. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's that. Enough rambling. On to the next. Last two things, kind of following the similar theme. Um, this one, really cool actually. Boba Fett, Black Series. Um, my wife actually ordered this for me a year ago and it just showed up. So. It, she pre-ordered it when it came live. Um, I believe she pre-ordered it from Walmart a year ago. I want to say almost around Valentine's Day last year. Um, and it just showed up. So this thing took forever. I know Black Series figures in general are hard to find if they're, you know, not a Finn or a Rose or, you know, the unpopular, unfortunately. I like them all, but... You know, it is what it is. I don't really collect a ton of them, but she saw this one and, you know, thought of me. And I think it's pretty cool. And it's the it's the newer Boba Fett from uh, Book of Boba Fett slash Mandalorian. So cool to see him in a different sculpt. I mean, it kind of looks like him. It's close enough. Close enough. But yeah, comes with his accessories. Pretty, pretty cool. He, ate, he had a good lunch, you can tell. Ah. But yeah, um, I like I said, I don't collect. I don't collect the line. I don't. I don't collect. I'm not a completionist for the Black Series set. I just have a handful of cool ones that I particularly enjoy, and this guy will most likely stay in the package and just be displayed probably in the case behind uh, you guys. On to the last item. The last item. Probably the coolest, in my opinion, out of all of them. And you're wondering, how could it possibly be cooler than everything we've already seen? Well, this traveled all the way from Disney Tokyo. Tokyo Disney. Um, we, we, I say we, I was not really a part of it. My wife 
found this company through Instagram who sends shoppers to different parks, Disney parks around the world to buy select merchandise and then ship it to you. So we're kind of posers because we haven't been to Tokyo Disney, but you don't need to know. Um, but yeah, here it is. Tokyo Disney exclusive Mickey sort of plush ears slash hat. And then there it says, Tokyo Disney Resort, yada, yada, yada. Super duper cool. Um, it's almost like a snapback style. There's the little back there and that says Mickey Mouse. Um, it's super cool. Super, super cool. I wasn't really sure. Well, I mean, I knew I wanted it and it was really neat, but I wasn't really sure how I would like it because it, it, you'll see, it fits kind of different. Um, it's got these little things on the inside to keep the ears up um but it sort of sits on top of your head come on i have a big head so you know it takes a little extra a little extra work to get the fidges right there we go there we go baby yeah so it just kind of sits on top of your head it's cool it's cozy Super cute, super cool. Yeah, Tokyo Disney exclusive hat. You already know I'm gonna be wearing this in the park in California in March. So, how do I look? What do you think? Hmm? Hmm? This is my good side, I think. Or is this my good side? Can't tell. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Little haul here, couple of pops, action figure, cool Mickey ears. What more could a guy want? All right, well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe below, hit the bell, it's there. It's probably there. That's probably the orientation, it's there. Hit, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. Thumbs up the video. There, no, uh, there we go. Thumbs up the video. And I'll see you in the next one.